Now this next step is if you did not save your course materials at the end of last year. Okay, uh, at the end of last year I sent out instructions on how to save your materials. If you didn't do that, don't worry, you haven't lost everything. Okay, uh, you've got to do a few steps, but you haven't lost everything, so you can still do this. And by the way, this also, for you high school teachers, this also applies to the first semester courses from last year, because I don't think I told you then how to save those. So you'll need to do this if you're a high school teacher for your first semester courses from last year. So what you need to do there is you need to get back to last year's course. Remember what you do there, go to Courses, go to See All, click Archived, and then find the right grading period, find the course there. Let's say that this is the course from last year. Uh, and at this point then, what you need to do, I have another video that instead of repeating the instructions, uh, I'm just going to refer you to that video. It's uh, in this same folder called Saving Courses for Next Year. Uh, saving Courses for Next Year. If you'll go to that folder, if you'll go to those instructions, you'll see what you need to do at this point. If you want to copy everything from last year, this is if you want to copy the whole course, all the materials from last year. Okay, so at this point, stop the video and go to that other video if you need instructions for that. But let's say that you just want to copy some of the things from last year. You don't need everything. Let's say that you developed, let's say that this folder here, Christian Perspective and Computing, was something that I really want to bring over to this year, but I'm redoing the rest of my course. So I just want to copy this one folder. Okay, so if you want to do that, uh, you go to last year's course, like I'm in here, and find the material that you want to copy. It could be an entire folder like this. It might be, if you go inside a folder, it might be just a particular item that you want to copy. Uh, whatever it is, the same thing works. Uh, whether it's a folder or just a particular item, find the material you want to copy. Notice over here at the right is this gear icon. Pull that down and it says Copy to Courses. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to say, okay, I want that folder, just that folder, to go to my Schoology training course. Okay. Uh, if I have folders inside that course, I could say, well, I want to put it inside a certain folder. If I want it just to be at the top level, then I leave it like folder none. And then I click Copy Folder. And when I do that, it's going to say, are you sure you want to copy? It kind of gives you a, a uh, confirmation. If you want, you can look in and say, well, there's only some of these things I want. Uh, but otherwise, you can just say, copy the folder. And so after you do that, it takes a second, and it'll say your folder has been copied. Now, if it's a large stuff, it might say it's in the process of doing it, so you need to wait. But now you'll notice if I go back to this course, my dummy Schoology training course, here is that folder that I just copied. Okay. So that's how you can get materials from last year's course, individual materials from last year's course to this year's course.